What's happening YouTube? It's Sean from GMDRS TV and on my way to Portola, California to attend a large gravel event called Lost and Found. I'm really excited about the ride, but I'm also excited that this area has lots of opportunities for other fun. Uh, so I have all of the bikes, I have a gravel bike, I have a mountain bike, I even threw beach cruiser on the back for slacking around town. And then uh, I also have a, a fly rod on board in case uh, that opportunity presents itself. Should be a good time. Thank you for coming along. I'm driving across Highway 20 and there's this dumb thing that's along the side of the road that, uh, for whatever reason, brings me great delight. And I can never stop because I'm always on some sort of schedule when I'm on this road. Today, grab a check. Somebody converted this abandoned sign into a little dude. I mean, look at this. Actually welded arms, bolted them. The face is so crude, it's honestly fantastic. And the overall effect is, I mean, it just, it just makes me happy. I have no idea why. Anyways, cheers sign guy, high five, and I'll see you next trip. It is crazy that it is June 1st and I'm driving through snow. Oh, holy moly, this year is nuts. Pulled into the campsite and holy shit, it's like amazing. Van is right here. River is right here. Drip boat coming down. All this nice fly water right here. Excellent. Got some fish popping out in front of me. There was one rolling right there. Look at that guy. So far, no takers. It's early in the game. Yeah, I can see that guy there. He's swimming away. All right, well, the campsite just got better. My partner in crime, Steve Scott, is here. This whole thing is really his idea, but it's a good idea. He's already cut it. He's already cussing. That's not a good sign. This awning is amazing. It's kind of sunny out here. Got to pop up up there. And it literally took, I don't know, less than 10 minutes. Really nice. River's looking juicy. Life is not bad. Me and Steve are walking down the road in search of OG dessert. <laughs> we buy, every mountain town has a burger with soft serve. It just has to have one. And since it's here, we're gonna, we're gonna eat it. It's frosty. It doesn't get any more OG than this. But it's also kind of scary because if you're using the Anthony Bourdain rule, as long as there's a line, you're fine. <laughs> there is no one here. <laughs> not not one person. <laughs> mm. Yeah. If I die, food poisoning was totally worth it. That's <laughs> so good. Someone has finally hooked a fish, everybody. <laughs> Steve, Steve is on. 
Come here, bud. Yeah, that's a beauty, dude. That's a pretty little fish. Fuck oh, yeah, Steve. Nice job. All right, well, good morning, everybody. It is day of the event. Cody's ready. Steve's over there putting on his finishing touches. And uh, we're going to see if we can actually accomplish what we came here to do. But it's been super fun so far. This campground has been beautiful. Some nice dinners here in camp and sense of community uh, here with this group of folks. It's also just been great. Everyone's super chill and sharing shit. It's the way I like it should be. It's really pleasant. So anyways, we're gonna roll out in a minute and uh, looking forward to it. <laughs> Lake Dave is looking beautiful, so full. Everything is just wet this year, it's nuts. And we're on to the dirt. First station, smelled delicious, but I couldn't eat right now if I wanted to, so. Off we go. Are you okay? All right. We got a piper down. Oh, there's a very marbly corner. All right, on to the road. That oh, was a sick sound, AC. So good. Steve, you make a disappointingly small hole in the wind. <laughs> pretty back here. Oh, it's amazing. Really pretty. These yeah, these valleys are fucking gorgeous. Stop number two, which is where we planned fuel, was a complete bus. They had nothing. Um, but we eked it out. Stop three here is insane. The hundred milers are coming in, they just look like animals. A little cup of bacon. Who doesn't want that? Awesome snack. Love it. I am in a little pine jam right now. Very pretty. The sort of second climb isn't very big, but it beat my ass. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I spent a lot of time talking myself out of walking parts of that last climb. But uh, I made it anyway, so here we are. Gonna get some snacks and then get ready for the final push. Wow, this area, this, <laughs> it's just stunning. Extreme caution. I found a phone on it, really bumpy. And uh, when I hooked up with Steve at the bottom, it was actually his. So. Oh, wow.
That's crazy. It looks like it's gone onto an old abandoned highway. Have I mentioned that it's stunning here? I mean, it's so goddamn beautiful. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Mm. All right, Steve. Yeah, cheers, brother. That was amazing. Beautiful course, man. Beautiful course. Yeah. They got beer right here. And they got a mixed plate right there. <laughs> This is my spot. Yeah. He's just destroying it on this flat top right here. <laughs> so good. Is that, is that carne asada right there? That is. Rice right here. And then we have a full breakfast burrito bar happening over here. And then two Frenchies hoping we drop something. Yeah. <laughs> Look at them there. Ooh, smells good. <laughs> well, that is a wrap on Lost and Found. But Jesus, what a great event. I mean, the campsite was just money. The ride was fantastic. Organization, tremendous. And really, really nice people. Uh, the collective of the King known as the West End Boys. Keith, Chris, the whole crew, really, really nice people. Um, everybody just sharing and it was, it was fantastic. I would absolutely give this event a 11 out of 10 and would come here uh, again. In fact, I'm definitely gonna show up. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next adventure.